Hi Grade 12s and welcome back to CAT with Mr. Hambri here to help you get clarity on all things CAT. Okay, so um, in this video we are now looking again, we're still continuing with our terms. Um, today we're looking at these over here, we're looking at cloud storage, ISP, proxy server, crowdfunding, uh, what a switch is and also shaped and unshaped internet. So, without further ado, let's go. Right, so let's look at term number one. We're looking at the term cloud storage. What is it? Now, when we think of the cloud, you need to think of this. It is referring to the internet. Okay, so I'm going to put up um, some slides here and then you'll see. So basically what we're talking about is storing data on the internet. It's just another way of storing our data, whether it's files, pictures, videos, whatever it is. Um, and we can actually do that and store that directly onto the internet. So an example would be something like Dropbox, uh, Google Drives as well, because all this information is on the internet. Our next term we're looking at is the ISP. Okay, now um, again, like some of the other terms, this is going to be a two-part answer. The first one is where you'll actually break it down and explain what this stands for. And the second one will be what it is. So let's look at part number one. What does this actually stand for? Well, it stands for, the first one is internet, then service, and lastly, provider. So when we look at this, we are saying this is an internet service provider. And what does that mean? This term then refers to a company that provides you as the client with access to the internet. That's why it says it's an internet service provider, providing you with the service and access to the internet. Right, our next term is the proxy server. Okay, now I've had a couple of questions on this um, and we're looking at different ways to explain it. So I'm going to give you two simple um, ways in which you can explain it. Number one, the first one says that it is a bridge between you and the rest of the internet. Okay, so there is, there is someone in the middle or something in the middle. It's a way, and this is secondly, a way that two computers communicate indirectly. Again, there's something in the middle. So when we look at this term, first of all, when you think of the term proxy, if I say someone is my proxy, it means that that person's acting in my stead. They, they're doing something on my behalf. So if um, I send someone as my proxy to go and renew my car license, they are my proxy. They are acting um, in my stead on behalf of me. Okay. So when we look at this and you accessing an internet site, okay, what will happen is if there's a proxy server in place, this is you. You will be accessing that site, but it's going to go through a proxy server that will make contact with that site on your behalf and then give you that information. This is a way um, of just providing extra security when you are surfing the internet. Right, the next term should be familiar to a lot of you. Uh, this is called crowdfunding. Now, let's, let me use an example to actually explain this. Um, let's say you want to go on an overseas trip. Um, you need to do some research on something or um, there's some opportunity that you want to grab hold of, but you don't have the finances to actually do that. Crowdfunding is a way uh, where you can share what you want to do with others, whether they be friends, family, people out there in general. Um, and what they then do is they are then the crowd, if I can put it that way. And what they will do is they can then donate and they'll give you, you know, 20 rand year, 50 rand year, 500 rand year, whatever the case may be. But all of that funding comes in to help fund this particular project. So the crowd is funding that particular project. Okay, so um, there, there have been things, I think there was even an example a couple of years back of a, a girl who wanted to launch her own CD. Very talented, couldn't get, um, I think, uh, signed up with one of these labels. And so she decided to do this thing on her own. 
So what happens was she actually had a little website where she did the whole crowdfunding thing and got people, you know, she shared what she wanted to do, why she was passionate about this, and folks then ended up actually donating and crowdfunding um, what she needed in terms of finances to actually get the ball on the road. Okay, the next term is also very interesting. This relates to our networks. Um, and usually one of the questions that they'll ask is, can you uh, give a list of a few hardware devices that's needed when it comes to a network? So number one, we know there is a network card from the computer itself. Um, there's the physical cable. And then there's something called a switch. So a switch is basically a, a hardware, a network hardware device. And what it does is it links two network segments. So if you look at your school environment, for example, some of you might have two computer labs or three um, or even just one. But what it does is here in my example, it will link up one lab to another. OK, so you'll have your lab with all its computers. And uh, let me just actually show you around here. So this, for example, is our lab. OK, so what it's going to do now, if we look at our switch, if you look over here, um, this is the switch and it's got all the network cables running in from all these computers and that now links us from this lab where I'm standing in um, to our server room at the bottom. Okay, so that's practically uh, what your switch is and what your switch does. Right, now our last two items um, in our terms for this video deals with shaped and unshaped and this relates to the internet okay so um, some of you in fact by now most of you should know what capped and uncapped means when it comes to the internet remember capped means there is a limit on the data that you have so they'll tell you um, per month your limit is 10 gigs that means it's capped to 10 gigs if you exceed that your internet access will get cut if it's uncapped it means that there is no limit to um, the usage okay however don't think that it's just a free for all it doesn't work that way when a line is unkept it is also shaped and unshaped right so when we talk about a shaped line we're talking about um, a technicality okay where the internet service provider will, will actually reduce the speed on the line to make sure that you can browse the normal internet and that you're not just downloading huge files and torrents and movies and all that type of thing. So if they pick that up on your line, they can actually shape that to reduce the speed to those bigger items and give you more speed for the normal browsing. Okay, um, These are things you need to check when you do sign up with someone. If a line is unshaped, it means that whether you are downloading big files, small files, whether you are doing torrents, whether you are web browsing, um, there is really no restriction on the amount of speed. Uh, you will not be reduced or what they call throttled, no, throttled um, at certain times. So uh, this uh, business of shaping also happens when there's a lot of people on the network. So usually the time when folks get home, say between about five and eight, um, you'll find a lot of people on the internet getting home, connecting to their Wi-Fi. And um, if you are busy downloading big files, your line speed can be shaped if it's part of uh, the contract. Or if it's unshaped, it means that you can just go ahead and do whatever you need. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, Grade 12s. Um, I hope this has given you good clarity. Uh, please let me know in the comments if there's any other terms you want me to specifically go through uh, before I start getting onto the other practical videos as well. All right. All the best.